Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. Computer is running slow. I feel like Firefox is really weird for me lately. It just like keeps on leaking memory and I have to like shut it on and off. I just turned it, I just restarted Firefox too, but it's clearly taking a while. Anyway, uh, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, and join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prompt. Uh, it's October 24th, and today's problem is hopefully, I get to click on it. Yeah. What is going on with my computer? What is running? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Man, can't tell. But, uh, yeah. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's part. I just finished running 12 miles today. Uh, it was my longest. Um, that's, maybe I'm just a little bit tired as well. Uh, I mean, it's not my longest, but it's my last long... Um, uh, tempo run of the the block, ten days to the marathon, maybe a, a little bit less now, more or less, uh, depending on when you look at it. So I'm just very excited, very tired, and hopefully, uh, the next week would be a good rest. I'm just gonna do a, like about thirty miles or something. So yeah, um, man, yeah, that's it. Not 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 much to say. Maybe when I have more energy, I'll say more. But today, let's take a look at today's poem. We have twenty forty eight. Next greater numerically balanced number. Okay, an integer uh, x is numerically balanced if for every digit d in the num number x there are exactly d occurrences of that digit in x. Given integer n, we turn the smallest numerical numerically balanced number strictly greater than n. Okay, so you have this. Um, hmm. Let's see. Just trying to think of. I mean, I think this is. I mean, this is going to be a constructive. Uh, algorithm. I don't think it's digit DP just because I don't think there are that many states, right? Because basically, um, actually, I mean, there could be a lot of numbers for sure. But um, but I think the thing is that the, the first thing to notice is that constraint only goes up to 10 to the 6, which seems a little bit low, to be honest. I thought it would be a little bit higher. Or just like 10 to the 9 is probably okay. Uh, but given 10 to the 6, what does that mean, right? That means that there are only 6 digits. Or 7, I guess. Right, one like your your biggest input could be a million, and you have to do the next number bigger, so maybe seven digits, right? Uh, and a seven digits already kind of ruled out, well, eight, eight digit numbers or nine digit numbers because you know that a possible answer is sevens, you know, seven sevens, right? Uh, and even then, obviously, I mean, if you just took you know one second to think about it, you you could you know easily construct a smaller number. So that already means that seven is not possible. That means that uh, uh, um, the biggest number that we're going to have has, um, I guess there's no zero, right? Because zero cannot show up. So there is only one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Um, so six in some thing, right? Um, I'm trying to think whether, so yeah, so there are only six, like if you do some brute force, it's probably fine. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to think whether, uh, well, no, 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 okay, yeah, I'm, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. Uh, what I was going to say, what I was thinking was like, oh, is there a lot of combination actually that can kind of come up with the answer? And then the next thing I noticed is, or remember was that, no, there's only a million, right? Or less than a million, like, or it obviously is less than a million because the upper band will be a million, right? And there should be not that many. And in theory, you probably could just, uh, if you're ready, uh, uh, I, I do wonder, like, you could, well, what I was going to say is that you can even do it by hand with this problem, if you like, to some degree, right? Um, because there are not that many examples. For example, you know, we have one digit, there's only one, two digit, there's only one, one, oh no, not even, right? So two, two, right? That's it. Three digit, maybe one, two, two, and three, three, three. Uh, and then, of course, there's some, com there's three combination of here, right? Um, like, you know. So that's uh, four digits, right? Or four numbers, sorry. Right, so so already we're like halfway done, right? So uh, four digits, uh, four digits, maybe we have, uh, maybe I'll put a star just to show that, you know. So maybe, how, how, how does it go? So there's four of these, right? Um, there's no two and, and then that, right? Is that it? I guess so, right? Because one, 
you can't do one, two, and another thing. So that's only five numbers, right? Because there's four combination here plus one. That's five, right? So we're going pretty quick now, right? So you have one more, do, 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 right? Uh, and then two. This one finally. Maybe we have another one. Uh, we'll go over the math soon. Um, and then just five, 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 five. I don't think there's another. Like you can't do one, two, whatever. One, two, four. No, right? I mean. Yeah, one two one. Oh no, one two two would be five, but obviously that's not a thing. Um, there's there's five numbers here. Um, there's five factorial over two factorial over three factorial. What is that? Uh, that's six times two is twelve. Five factorial is one twenty. So that's like ten, right? So that's fifteen, sixteen. So that's like sixteen numbers. And then six digits. It's just gonna be, you know, again, you have this, right? You have two, two, four, 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 right? Um, and then you can't do threes because you would, in theory, want to do something like that. Three matches with three. And is there two? Oh, maybe you. Oh, we finally did do. Um, <clears throat> right? And I don't know how many numbers there are uh, here. We could, we could do the math, though. There are only six numbers for, for this one. So it's the six plus um, this is six factorial over two factor. <coughs> Jeez, <coughs> still have a uh, uh, six factorial seven twenty right. So mine uh, or divided by two factorial divided by four factorial is going to be like fifteen right. Four factorial is what twenty four. So three sixty over twenty four is fifteen plus uh, and again seven twenty over. 2 is 360 over 3 factorial, so that's going to be 60, right? Okay, so maybe that's a little bit more of a handful, this particular one, uh, to do manually, right? And I actually skipped one, which is the more obvious one, so, uh, right? Um, and of course, I, I just want to give it a, an example of something that you can do. Obviously, uh, did I do this one? No, no. What? Man, I, I don't know how to add for all of a sudden. 20, 82, right? Am I right? Hopefully I'm right. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, maybe I'm off by some stuff, but you get the idea. And seven digit, uh, you only have one, right? Um, is that the, the smallest? That's, no, that's more digits, diamonds count. Right, I think that's the smallest number, right? Just by greedy. Right, because you always want the one, and then after the one, you always want the two, and then the only thing that left that fits is the four, right? So you're, there's only one number, right? So what I'm saying is that, like in theory, if you really, really want to, um, like do it by hand, you can, right? It may, it may take a little bit long time, but you only have one, two, three, uh, plus nine, twelve, twenty-eight, so like a hundred and ten numbers, right? Like I said, maybe I, I miss whatever, right? Uh, but of course, my point here isn't to get you to try to do it all manually. Uh, the, here, uh, knowing that there's 110 numbers means you should just, well, just generate the entire list, right? Because the, the idea here is that, yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward in theory. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think whether... I think the one thing that I always forget is whether next... Um, in Python, there's an, uh, I guess, uh, a next fermentation, which, um, or next combination, I suppose. Little tools that combination. That makes sense, actually. Now, well, I want actually permutations without repeat. Uh, I forget how to do. Is it permutations? Let me. I. I. I sorry. I mean, I. I know how to do it, and we can't do it, and we, maybe we even should do it uh, manually. But I. I just wanted to. Um, I. I just for me, and this is for me. So my apologies. Is that I just want to. Um. Uh, um just learn the library a little bit, right? So maybe we have like, uh, okay, so we have uh, one, two, uh, so one, two, two, three, 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 
right? So we have other tools dot permutation, right? Maybe, right? So print maybe. I don't. I think this gives us like a, a pointer, so it, or, or an iterator rather. Um, so it probably would just print that. Um, but I don't know. Mostly anyway. Yeah, uh, an iter iterator object. So maybe we can move to a list. Maybe. Okay. So yeah, so this does seem to dupe, right? I was hoping that it doesn't dupe, but I, I wasn't sure. I mean, of course, even this only has six factorial, which is 720, right? So, you know, if you want to do 720 times four, that would be, you know, pretty fine too, right? Um, because then now maybe you could do like, you know, this is probably like the worst way of doing it, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, and then, you know, you could, <laughs> but I just want to see if I could, right? So 60. Ah, so our math was right. Um, but yeah, but I just wanted to check for myself, so my apologies for a little bit of a detour, you know. Because um, these things, you never know when they come in handy. But this is definitely not what I want um, because we needed to dedupe, right? But in any case, we can, we can construct this, right? And I think the, the thing here is that we only have 110 numbers. So what I... There are a couple of ways you can think about wanting to solve this on uh, on a more uh, um, just like in general, right? Like you wouldn't uh, because there's only 110 numbers. You can actually pre-process and pre-compute them as well. I was gonna say, and because there are only 10 110 numbers, you can even do something really lazy offline and then generate a list of numbers in an array and then just paste that away, right? So that th these are some things that you can do. But of course, for me, let's just uh, generate it, right? So maybe we have uh, four digits in range from one to seven. In, well, let's just say seven um, because we already know that um, uh, P for number uh, is equal to do, 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 right? So we already know that that's a possible number. So then now here we want to maybe just write um, gen digits, I guess. Yeah, gen digits, whoops. And digits, right? Uh, basically, what do we want to do? Um, hmm. Hmm. What is the best way to write this? Hmm. I'm trying to think whether I I, I think I, I'm trying to, like there are two ways that I'm thinking about it. Right? One is we can generate the the digits like we have here that that makes sense because it has to be you know like the summation of the numbers well not the numbers but like one plus five has to you go to six two plus four you go to six one plus two plus three is you go to six and so forth so we can maybe do that first and then permutate or we can just you know permutate i think one thing that i actually messed up uh is that i'm definitely still doing too much right because there are only a million numbers. We, we just said that. There's only a million numbers, Larry. So what you can do is just check every number and see whether they're true and then pre-calculate it. So maybe they will do that instead because that's even easier. If, But I would say if it becomes um, a little bit more, like if there's a version 2, uh, um, a follow-up, where this is 10 to the 9, for example, then maybe we will do it this way. And also maybe for an upsolve, you can do it this way. Because, I, I don't know. I think for me, uh, I guess I'm not... Or I'm not always in tune with the easier solution just because I don't know it, it's much easier in that case and I just forgot I suppose um, but yeah so for x in range from 1 to let's just say a million right um, if uh, good of x then p p for possible in case you're wondering why I, I, I don't know right and here I mean I put this in the front so maybe we could just put that in the back. Because uh, I was going to call sort, which I think actually sort, um, sort is smart. I don't know if this is in Python. Though, so in some language, sort is smart in that if you have a, in a way that is almost sorted, it actually is very fast. You, it, like it, it's still technically n log n, but, but it just happens a lot faster. But anyway, I, I don't remember Python is one of those languages. I have too many languages in my head. Uh, that I don't even so, so like I, I suck at many languages altogether I suppose, um, but um, yeah. So then now oh I forgot to implement good right 
And there are a couple of ways you can implement good, I suppose. I'll uh, just do it as lazy as possible, right? Uh, well, not even that. We have, we're going to just put it in a, in a frequency table, right? So then now we have key values in that items. If key is not equal to value, then we turn false. Otherwise, we return true. This being that, you know, the, if for frequency, if two appears twice, then, you know, then it's good. Or, or I forgot to actually do this, right? And then now we can just do a bisect right oops, on P for N, right? So index is equal to this. And then we just return, uh, actually, I guess we can just return directly P of this, right? Because this should always exist. So, um, yeah. All right, well, maybe not. Maybe good is always false. No, I know, because this is a... Because a, a, I converted to a string to be lazy, but then now we're comparing a string to uh, to an int, so it was never true. Yep, looks okay. Let's give it a quick submit. Hopefully no silly mistakes. Yes, there you go. Um, I think one thing to note is that, you know, the reason why I forgot about the million, obviously, as you noticed, or I just didn't think it through what the million means because there's so many ways to do it and they're all fine, right? Um, but what I mean by that is that this is clearly not super efficient, right? But you only do it a million times and it's not a million per test case. It's only a million altogether. So you could pre-process it and once you pre-process it, this is just a quick binary search on 110 numbers. It is going to be like, you know, very fast. So, uh, and you could see it here. Uh, yeah, what did I do last time? I'm curious. Hmm. I guess this is the numbers. I guess I don't remember that. But Oh, I see. So this is what I was saying uh, with that. We just try to construct the one, two, and four, and then we just create all the permutations. And it's kind of, uh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. It is very lazy, but maybe I'm having a, or maybe this is a contest solution, I suppose. Because if it's a contest, then, you know, you just <coughs> do what works, and this apparently works enough. Um, but it's basically trying to do um, uh, uh, take no tick, right? I mean, I don't cache it in terms of memorization, but I just do a take no tick on I, um, and then go to the next one. And and then what, params just creates the, the array, and then we just permutate it. Um, mm, because this is at most 720, so I guess that's fine, I don't know. I, I mean, I, <coughs> excuse me, I'm, uh, but yeah. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to go mental health. Maybe help you to me too. I've been coughing like a maniac. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.